on. Today's is going to be a simple op art lesson. So op art is short for optical illusion art. And that means that the way you use color and shapes and patterns kind of tricks your eye into seeing certain things on the page. So ours is going to be op art with a star and stripes. So all you need for this lesson is a piece of paper, something to draw with, probably a pencil would be the best first, and then something to add color if you want to. So crayons, color pencils, markers, um, watercolors, anything like that will work. So gather up your supplies and we can get started. So here is the paper I'm gonna use. I'm gonna keep my piece of paper horizontal, the long way, just so I have more room. I'm gonna show you guys how to draw a star first. If you guys aren't sure how to draw, I can show you. If you know, then go ahead and do that. You want a big star right in the middle of your page. And if you don't know how to do it, I can show you. So to start the star, you draw this shape, kind of like you're gonna make an A. You go up and back down. Now, we're gonna take this side down here and we're gonna bring it over this way. So we went from here and we drew our line over to here. Now we're gonna go from here and go straight across over to here. Like that. So you go from here straight over to here. And now we're gonna go from this point down to this point down here. Draw a diagonal line from that point to that point. And you have a star. Before you add the stripes, my suggestion is to go through and erase these lines right here. Erase those four lines out of there. Because when we add our stripes in, it'll be confusing where you need to color if those lines are still in there. Plus this way you'll just see the outline of your star. And then if you've accidentally erased any of your edge lines, you can fix those. There you go. So you wanna erase out those middle lines. Now you can add your stripes. So you can either add stripes going up and down or you can go side to side. Since mine um, is gonna be patriotic, I'm going to go from side to side like the stripes are usually on a flag. Um, you can make them curved to look like the flag is waving and you're going to start at the top and you're just going to go right on top of your star. Like this. You don't want them too close together or else you're going to have a lot to color and you don't want them too far apart or else your optical illusion will not work as well. So mine are like a little more than a finger width apart. Two finger widths that will work. So you're just going to keep going until you have lines all the way down your page and you go right on top of the star curve is easier than drawing straight lines because then you don't have to worry about them being perfectly straight so you go top to bottom wavy lines all the way across now to turn this into an optical illusion um, you have to color it a certain way so you're going to start at the top and you can choose a color. You want just one or two colors. If you're using one color, then your other color will be white. If you're using two colors, then you won't have white. You'll just have the two colors you pick. So let me show you the finished example. So here's my finished one. So you're going to color every other one. So if you see at the top, the stripe I did blue, but where it was in the star, that's white. The next line down is my white stripe, but inside the star, it's blue. Next stripe is blue, but where it hits the star, it's white. So it hits it here and over here. Next one is a white stripe, but inside the star, that stripe is blue. And you continue down all the way until you've colored the whole picture. So if you look at yours, so if I'm going to start, my top is going to be blue, but this little point right here in the star is going to be left white. Then I'm going to do this one, and this will be white, 
this will be blue, and this will be white. So every other box is a different color. No two boxes next to each other should be the same color. So what I did when I colored mine is I took my blue marker and I put a dot wherever blue was supposed to go. So I can show you what I mean. So my top stripe is going to be blue. So I put two dots. So I know that right in there that needs to be blue. Then I go down. This is going to be white. But in the star it's blue. And that will be white. Next one down. This will be blue. This will be left white. This will be blue. This will be blue. This big chunk of star. And those will be white. And keep going down. And then you know where your blue and whites are supposed to be. Or whatever colors you use. If you use two colors... Like if I wanted to do blue and red, I could do blue, red, here, blue, red, and keep alternating that way. One other thing I wanted to show you on here is if you want it to really pop off the page, take a black marker or crayon, whatever you're using, and outline just one side of the star. Outline just one part, and that'll make it look like it's popping off the page even more. Okay, so if you do this pop, um, or I'm sorry, op art star project, please post a picture in the comments. I'd love to see it, and I'd like to add it to our virtual art show. Have fun, and I will see you guys tomorrow.